some days, life just decides to kick you in the crotch repeatedly. And for Mallory Thorne, today was one of those days. First, she'd been called in to see her boss because some idiot had complained when she refused to redesign the marketing campaign she and her team had spent two months perfecting. Well, he hadn't complained about just that. He'd also been upset because she might have implied that if she changed the marketing materials per his suggestion, then he may as well shutter his business now and save a few months' rent. And okay, maybe she had gone a smidge too far, but in her defense, Mallory stood 100% behind her team in the campaign they'd worked countless hours, nights, and weekends to create. Her boss, on the other hand, hadn't displayed that same loyalty, which was how Mallory had ended up on the street at 10 a.m. on a Thursday with a box full of her personal belongings and the pressing need to have a glass of wine. Or five. Instead of heading straight to the nearest liquor store, she decided to swing by the apartment, drop off the box of office decor, change clothes, and see if she could talk Glenn into helping her drown her sorrows over being fired from the company where she'd been working hard to climb the corporate ladder for years. Glenn, her boyfriend of 14 months, was an aspiring screenwriter by day and bartender by night, so she'd hoped he would be up to partake in the most ancient of author hobbies by day drinking with her. He'd been asleep when she left for work that morning, but she'd expected him to be at his desk typing away when she got back home. Instead, she'd found him exactly where she'd left him, between the sheets. Only much to her dismay, he hadn't been alone. Mallory had gotten an eyeful of Izzy, the annoying neighbor she and Glenn often joked was trying to poison them with her terrible baked goods. It seemed Izzy had abandoned the idea that the way to a man's heart was through his stomach and gone with the tried-and-true horizontal mambo instead. Seeing the woman in her bed with her boyfriend, Mallory's anger had gotten the better of her, and she'd started throwing anything and everything she could get her hands on at the no-good cheating pair. As it turned out, Izzy's basket of baked goods made for pretty good projectiles, since they were as tough as baseball leather. 